We don't want to build a church for the sake of building a church. This place should be a place of pilgrimage, connected with a pilgrim to Jerusalem, to Nazareth, to Bethlehem. When you come to that place, and when I'm there early in the morning when the sun is rising, I find myself that God is in me. Then I understand why John the Baptist and Jesus Christ selected that place. You know, if you connect it with St. Katharina Monastery, Mount Sinai, there Moses met God under a burning bush in a desert and he felt the closeness of God and he did not want to come down. Here, the same feeling when you are there. John the Baptist and Jesus enjoyed to be there. Not only because they belong to what some stories and some, uh, 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 some theories are saying they belong to the Essenes, but because there you feel God is near. You have a spiritual, uh, a spiritual uh, experience, a spiritual growth, and you feel it and you enjoy it. I mean, usually people say when you see green things and water coming down, you feel a little bit emotional and so on. But it is a stronger experience when you find it in the desert. When there is nothing, you find Christ that the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land is a recognized church by a royal decree in 1959. And since that time, the church is working in the Kingdom of Jordan, the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. The idea of His Majesty King Abdullah II is to strengthen the Christian presence in Jordan and in the Middle East. And imagine, the Hashemite king, King Abdullah II, a Muslim leader, an Arab leader, gives seven to eight churches a spacious piece of land to build on the baptismal site to strengthen Christian presence and even to assist us in building those churches without any kind of taxes or permits or fees or customs. I think this is outstanding when we see it from that perspective. I'm, I'm always challenging do Western countries give churches, you see, uh, what they are giving? They are giving us 5,000 square meter. It's a huge piece of land, which is opposite, as you have seen, uh, to, uh, to Jerusalem. And it's the only, Jerus the only church maybe in the world that the altar will be hitting Jerusalem, because that's really, and it is to the west, not to the east. And of course, this is an outstanding thing, which when, when, when we are seeing, Please come and have that experience, that spiritual experience. Because today, in a world of interest, we need spiritual experiences. We need spiritual growth. We need to grow in the values which Christ has given us in that place, in the baptismal site. We need to grow in it in order to improve our world, to become a better world than what we are. And that is the baptismal site.